But so yeah, you ain't come out the camper. You came out the door. Oh, y'all fucks. You got that dick in like you wanted to, didn't you, sis? Now you didn't get it out your system. Go get you some more dick and soul. What's up, you guys? It's me, Reggie. Your favorite who's on she, the Yataku Hardy. And welcome back to an all-new reaction episode of To My Star 2. And baby, let's just cut right on to the chase because the queso! The queso! Baby, look, that was all the confirmation that we needed right there because ain't no way you're gonna tell me after what I had just seen that G was not thinking about Sojourn this entire time they were broken up. Baby daddy, I know you still wanted this pussy. The way you drive it deep in this wet and good shade. This poo not me. No! Again, there's no way. There's no way he won't think about it. And look, y'all know G Daddy got that whole little nervous tick. Well, not a nervous tick, but when he get overwhelmed, he start cleaning and shit. Y'all seen that house, bitch. Not a speck of dust in sight. That nigga was up all hours of the night, most nights during the summertime, because he knew, he knew his man was bugging the fuck out. G, you said, damn, this nigga been up in my face these past couple of days, these weeks and a half. I bitch, I've been fiending, I've been yearning. It's been a year. I ain't had no, no good pussy in a while, bitch. Now this nigga in my face, I can barely get a, get a whiff of that shit. Baby, it's time for me to lock in. I have got to give my flowers to the good sis Sojourn. Because baby, again, I do not condone the violence. But ain't no way, ain't no way that a nigga that I was planning my future with, a nigga that I was sitting down writing out life goals, life plans, future plans, ain't no way and fuck that a nigga like that just gonna up and leave me, up and ghost me for filth. Ain't no way he gonna do that to me, and then the next time he see me, he wanna be all stank, be all cold to me, while his other bitch over here frolicking around, they being all nice and friendly too, bitch. Ain't no way in here he gonna do that, then do a one-two switch on the bitch and start being all nice and cute and kiss me like none of this shit ever happened. No. Nah. But yes, you guys, I am so ready to get into my hot garbage, because baby... After that kiss had me on edge last week, I'm ready to get straight to it. But first, y'all always know the real tea. Go ahead and hit your butt with that triple combo breaker by liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell for more to my star too here on the channel. And if you like what we do here on the channel and you want early access to videos like this as well as BL reaction exclusives, then head on over to my Patreon and become the newest citizen of this BL loving kingdom. And for all things BL we've been on talking related, go ahead and follow your boy over on his socials. All right, Judy's Tommy's ladies and gays. Y'all know what time it is. Let's cut the chit chat, get on with the show, and come on, girls, and cue my intro. Listen, I hope we pick right up from the kiss. Cause daddy, now, now you open up them can of worms now. You done kissed the bitch, so I know how you feel about a bitch. So is we gonna talk or not? Like right then, that moment right there, nigga, <laughs> like what the fuck? Like, I'm trying to tell you, hope, like uh-uh. Like, I mean, yes, come on, but uh-uh, but come on, but uh-uh. Cause nigga, again, you fucking block me and ghost to be like I'm some random nigga off of Jack Grinder and Scruff. If you know, you know, Tom isn't looking at you. Nigga! I'm telling you, bitch, that dick girl. Yeah, now you gotta face the aftermath like, fuck, I did just fuck this nigga. Well, I mean, maybe not, but I'm gonna say fuck. I just fucked this nigga. Got this nigga, he and I nigga sleeping in his house and so know this nigga gotta go to work the next morning. He's stealing the motherfucking village. And you came out the same door too. You didn't come out the camper, bitch. Cause it just gone get. Ooh, now you feel like a whore during the walk of shame. But so yeah, you ain't come out the camper. You came out the door. Oh, y'all fucks. You got that dick in like you wanted to, didn't you, sis? Now you didn't get it out your system. Go get you some more dick and soul. Look at him like that. 
Look at you. Listen, got you fucked up. You didn't even put the shit in the fucking cup. See, that's what good pussy do to you. Wait, Daddy, I knew you missed this pussy. The way you put it down in this wet and good shit. This poussoir. What, please? You wanted it. You couldn't take it. I bet he gave you several nuts last night. We got you. Want this nigga to come through the zone. Bit you. See, G, you not used to this. I told you, he closed off. He's very logical. He don't like to think with his heart. Or whatever. He don't like doing all that. So he just, this emotions, girl. He want to go clean up something right now. Sojun ass. Look at Sojun. Oh. Oh. I was about to say, look at both like a surgeon up in here and cursing your shit. Right, like leave his ass on, leave his ass on red, bitch. Like how he did you. Yeah, I picked her all right, good, blah, blah, blah. Let him chase that pussy for once. Instead of you chasing him. Again, here you go again, up in the motherfucking, in the woods, in the wilderness. Baby, if you wanted to get away from the city, all you had to do was stay there. We could have had us a nice little hut in the mountains. Could have went to Jeju Island, had us a little cute little... Beach resort house. We could have been living away from the from the city, bitch. Being one with nature. Just say that. Uh oh. I hope he don't like flip out because after that one kiss, he started being invasive again. I really hope he's not gonna go off on him. Uh oh. I thought this coming. Don't blink on this. I said don't blink. Don't like blank on this nigga, please. I'm kind of nervous. Cause see, look, look at Soja being all like, yeah. Uh -huh. He, he nervous talking. He nervous talking right now. No, not the heart and the and the ketchup, Lord. I just I just realized that too, Lord. You're not about to give him no friends with benefit shit, bitch. You're not about to try to do that. We ain't just about to be fucking and sucking here and there, nigga. Do you want it or not? Nigga, don't see, look, he trying to be all logical and matter of fact about it. See, he trying to cut off them emotions again. He trying to, he, he regressing. <laughs> Nigga, you kissed him! Calm down, sis. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, sis. Calm down. 
날씨로 행동하고 그냥 더럽게 끝내도 너무 괜찮으니까 연기를 할 거면 끝까지 제대로 하지 마 Right bitch, don't kiss a bitch in the middle of the street I'm telling you, smack, smack. Exactly. Exactly. See, you didn't say shit. He yeah, you said, Ooh, girl, ooh, I, I can't even get my words. See, bitch, you want to know what it's like for a nigga to treat you like you a piece of dick? That you just some dick nigga and that's it? All right, fine. Every motherfucking out of 11, get your ass here. Gotta give this man his resilience. Cause ain't no, I would not be around you, bitch. I would have fucked this nigga up. Ain't no way in hell I would keep bothering this man. Go home, baby. Go home, please. I can't take you. This is literally killing me. Watching this man do you like this. He just kissed you, still tried to touch you to the side, and you still back. I'ma just pour my own motherfucking drink then, nigga. Fuck you. Right, fuck it. You wanna be childish? Let's get very childish. Let's start asking personal shit. Are you? I know you did, bitch. Oh, so she ghosted him. So that's just what he just gonna do to me. Bitch, don't bring that old shit over here. Hello. Nigga, and you gonna old you, girl. G, you know what I mean? Clocked you, clocked you, clocked you, nigga. Right here, somebody else was the night of. Was this the night they fucked? Just tell I love you, I miss you. I just got some shit going on I can't say.
look at you just burying yourself in his back like that. Why? How are you going to do all this and still want to act like you don't want this pussy? Nigga, you kiss me, so I know you still like me, so don't stop trying it. Baby is begging. I will change everything about myself, nigga. Please, come on. <laughs> come on, daddy, come on. Look at the woman that was begging, please. But right again, nigga, if you wanted to get away, all you had to do was say so. Don't cry, boo. Don't, please don't boo her right now. I'm getting so fucking pissed off right now. I'm getting so mad. And you know he not like that. This ain't even about none of this, nigga. He just wanna know why and to try to fix shit like what? Period. Bring this bitch. Read this nigga! Why what, bitch? Stan nigga, he loves Jews! So why then, bitch? Why? And again, if you had some problems, some inner turmoil, whatever. Oh, so it was also your motherfucking problem, you nigga, for kissing me that motherfucking night. Now you wanna, you wanna get this pussy and get this ill and not nah one last time, but now you wanna go all being like this and the shit again. That's why I. That's exactly why I said that fucking surgeon should have slapped the shit out of his ass when he did that to him.
No, because he's a celebrity? I'm t like so dream bitch. I swear to God, bro. Like, if you don't just leave this nigga. Like, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He trying to include you in his shit. What you mean lonely? This nigga, this nigga is adored by millions. And you is the one nigga that has his attention. Is it because y'all live in two different worlds? He's a celebrity. You're a chef. Like, I don't understand. This nigga literally went on do not disturb for your ass just now. This nigga said, yeah, I could go home. I, I know this ain't the day he left him. Right, this nigga said, I'm not gonna just rest in the area for my next schedule. I'm gonna go home and go see my nigga. Even though it was a couple hours of sleep, I'm gonna go still do that and be with my nigga and just get the fuck up and do what I gotta do because I'm a bad bitch. They celebrating his birthday. <sighs> I just, I can't. motherfucking sense to this nigga. Right, baby? You know, you know the power of the pussy that you got. I know that dickin' is great, girl, and that dickin' was dickin' good that night, bitch. But you gotta know that you a bad bitch. There are plenty of other fucking Korean niggas in the motherfucking Korean sea. Bitch, you better go get you another bad bitch. And you on the he got you the motherfucking 100th episode. You know bitches in Korea love food shit. Nigga. Hello, mukbang. Mukbang, not mukbang, bitch. Mukbang, that's Korean shit. They invented this shit. It just sucks because he's a chef and he's a good one, so the dick is good and he can cook. Come on, nigga. You can't be doing shit like this. You can't just be dicking the girls down, letting hoes play house and be all happy and shit in their minds and you really not feeling it, then it fucked them up too. Like, come on.
but said, I hope he doesn't like get too consumed in thought about surgery that he fuck it up. But nah, baby daddy is a professional. He ain't shit, but he a professional. Baby, why? Why are you still hanging around him? She replaced Sojin for the air. Wow, way to just way to just bring your ass up here just to show me talking about my motherfucking bracelet that I had made when we was together years ago, bitch, on television. Alright, do the same little shit in there now I'm gone. Bitch, get your ass on. Exactly, don't even say shit, just walk away. Don't don't even say shit, just keep walking. Keep it short, keep it brief, bye. Now don't be looking and wondering and be shit now, nigga. Gone back to your motherfucking house, G. Man, just go home, boo. Go the fuck home. Don't be childish. Don't go up in there just because you see her about to go over there. If he wanna be with that bitch, then let him be with that bitch. Fuck him. Don't you pull up. Don't be spying on them neither. Just don't even, don't even go looking for trouble, sis. Just take your ass home. I heard, bitch, how you date this nigga for as long as you did and didn't know he didn't like sweets. <laughs> Baby, why? Well, was it also less ended here? Damn, bitch.
See a nail surgeon here and there. And I sold you hearing that shit and hearing the exact opposite. I was lonely with you, nigga, and all this shit. Like, I'm sorry, but his cutie has dimples too. Nigga, no! Oh, hell no! Bitch, fuck you! Tell y'all, just giving us waves, giving us little wa and just go down. Okay, so is I don't, I don't even have fucking words. I don't even have the proper words to describe, but I'm gonna fucking try. So we we have we have more pieces to the puzzle. We just don't see where everything fits in. So clearly, the past is very significant. His parents are very significant. Everything about G.U.'s past is significant to who he is right now. Okay? So, again, that whole conversation with some of you just now, like, girl, I, I, I like this when we was together back then when I was with you. We only know this nigga to be in two relationships with her and with fucking Sojourn. And he just sat there and told Sojourn that when he was with him, he felt the loneliest he's ever felt. He felt so alone. But with her, everything was just right. But on the flip side of that, they kind of didn't work together because of, I can say he, his parents died. She fumbled her scholarship thing and just everybody had their own shit to deal with. We don't know necessarily why why they broke up, but she just said, you know, you his mama could have said, yeah, laying low was what, you know, kind of caused them to break up. So I'm thinking maybe again, she ghosted him after dealing with her whole shit of not going to school for volleyball. And then his, his parents died and she said she was immature. So she didn't know how to handle all of that at once. So she just dipped on the nigga. And clearly because that's what he knows about dating, apparently, again, two relationships, him and her, that's just how he thought she was supposed to play out. Don't know. But it's just, oh my God. Hearing him, nigga, again, after you kissed me. Nigga, you kissed me. You gonna kiss me and still act all like, what the fuck? Nigga, you just sat up here and told me that you couldn't forget about this bomb pussy. You couldn't ignore this pussy if you tried. You know you still fainting for this. And then gonna sit up here 
and still treat me so coldly like girl I just I can't I really fucking can't like even if you felt some type of why can't you just be cool why can't you just be normal I'm guessing because again him knowing how GU is not GU knowing how Sojun is so just gonna take that as yeah we back on the right track to get back together when that ain't really what he want and and kind of hearing some of GU still throw the nigga in the trash for what he did cause at the end of the day nigga no matter how you felt you didn't say shit you still ghosted him you literally sat there and said out of your own fucking mouth, you did nothing wrong. As I'm sitting here in the middle of this argument with you trying to think, you did absolutely nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong to me. Literally, like Pyrrhim said, this nigga Sojourn was devoted to this motherfucker. He gonna sit here, I mean, yeah, he said he was lonely. I get that because he's a celebrity, so you live in a whole different room, whatever, whatever, whatever. But this nigga Sojourn, like I said in the show, is adored by thousands, millions of people. He is that girl. He is the moment. But you, nigga, are the only thing he can think about. This nigga was sat there, told by his assistant, Lil Dom saying, nigga, your next schedule is like, you know, some hours away. You don't want to just chill here for the night. He said, no, I'm going home. Yes, it's going to be an extra hour. Yes, I'm going to get three hours of sleep. and got to get right the foot back up on the next hour. But I'm going to go see my man. This nigga was skipping out on outings. He walked into a whole birthday party. For him and said, mm, y'all know I'm dating somebody, right? Gotta go see my nigga. Just putting his all. It was kind of like, kind of like what, what GU was saying about his relationship with O'Rourke. He said, mama, you are everything. And just again, to, to have Sojun be there hearing that shit, I know was heartbreaking. After this nigga that you've been devoting yourself to, that you love so much, again, you doing everything. He just said, I told you I felt the loneliest when I was with you. And then he went to his old bitch that everything was right with her. <laughs> it's really, I guess, I don't know. I'm so emotionally fucked right now. I really, I don't even know what to fucking think. I'm literally just like, wow. Again, I like how things are slowly coming together in terms of story-ish or whatever. But I just... Girl, they are taking me places. They are taking me places. And I'm just still trying to be like... I'm just still also trying to make sense of what this nigga meant that he was lonely. Like, yeah, okay, again. I understand, you know, we can't go out like that. But, like, nigga, you kissing me whole in the middle of the fucking street. I mean, it is nighttime, and it's a little, you know, countryside village. But, again, like I said, them old niggas know who Kong Sojourn is. If an old nigga was just out on a night walk and just happened to see us in the middle of the street kissing, you know that old ass is going to light us the fuck up. You the one they know in this motherfucking village because of your family, and they know me because I'm a star. This will still cause a commotion in this bitch if they saw us right now. So let's not act like you was ready to go fucking beat a nigga pussy down in the middle of the alleyway or some shit, nigga. You won't act and doing all that. Y'all, again, in the epilogue one, was y'all not just all out and open in the woods having little nature walks and trails and shit, bitch? In Seoul, y'all just got to the village this season. Everything that happened in the epilogue, for the most part, happened in season one, in Seoul. So I'm just still trying to figure out what the fuck. Again, I just, it's, I fail for GU, but goddamn nigga. What, just let me, let me, let me pause rewind. I understand exactly where GU is coming from. Again, baby, I, I can't even like be mad at that. If you saw that y'all was so different and you tried and it just didn't work for you, what else are you supposed to do? You ain't, I don't, I don't just condone just staying in a fucking relationship just because if you ain't feeling it, then get the fuck out. Like if it ain't doing nothing for you, for your soul no more, then get out. But damn nigga, did you have to ghost the bitch? Could you not just literally sit down and have a mature conversation? But again, I know G, you saw this. I know this, this is why I said kind of earlier, like in the early episodes that he had to ghost him like this because he knew that if he tried to regularly talk it out, Sojourn was gonna do this. I can change. I can do this. I can do that. Da, 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 da. We still different. I just can't do this. Like you know what I'm saying. So I kind of, in a way, see why he just up and left, just cold turkey. But it still does not fucking no, no. You ain't shit. 
Again, I can't lie to you though, it was a little cringe watching my good sis try to play motherfucking house homemaker, housewife bitch with the dinner ready for his nigga when he came back just because of that one little night of dick in Baby, he still don't want you. And I'm sad that that's the reality, as far as we know right now. But baby, you need to go home. You need to go home because I knew the moment that GU walked in, and I thought maybe he was there with you all, just to kind of use her as a way to get in. No, this nigga was just all up in the motherfucking house, cooking and cleaning like he's the motherfucking missus. I knew then and there that GU was about to let her ass have it, but he said, nope, don't want it. Oh, so this is what you want? You just want to come over now and then? You want to just sleep together? You find out the bunkers? Like he, he was really trying it then. But when Sojin was like, all right, nigga, fine. 10 o'clock on the dot. I want you here. Draws down. We're going to get the dick in. We're going to just dick in that set. But you see, he fucking stopped exactly because he knew he didn't want that life. He didn't want so he he couldn't take that pussy just being pussy for him. He want the pussy and everything attached to it because when Soju was about to fucking use that ass, well, he was going to use and abuse that ass and leave his ass high and dry, take the dick and leave that nigga in the bed and go back to your business. That was going to really fuck G you up, and he knew he didn't want that, so he shut the hell up real quick. I just. Girl, this is the type of drama that I live for. Be sure, you guys, that has been it for this episode of Two My Star 2, episodes 5 and 6. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. How do you feel about GU? Does having the little bit of extra knowledge change your opinion about his ain't shit nature? Or do you still feel like me that he ain't shit? I mean, yes, nigga, feel your type of way, but you're still a dog ass, dirty ass nigga. And as always, before we go, we have to introduce the newest members of our BL of the Kingdom, HP and Chloe Mason. So again, you guys, if you want early access to this video as well as BL reaction exclusives, click that link down below and become the newest member of our BL Living Kingdom over on Patreon. See you there. And yes, you guys, I just have to gather myself, center my thoughts. <laughs> Beyonce just came out with a new single. Hallelujah. And to give grace to the queen, we just going to, you know, we're going to end it on our usual. Y'all always know what we do here. Until next time, don't forget to always be blessed, be kind, be ill. Mother has returned. And I will see you all next episode. Bye-bye.